guys welcome back to part three of our tutorial we are going to be doing this section of our pillowcase um, my name is Mary by the way if you're just joining us new you can continue or actually you can start this particular pillow cover um, by clicking um, on the links in the description box down below there'll be parts one and parts two in that link today we are doing part three and part three is going to be the start of at corner worked all the way down this way so I'm not going to talk anymore we're just going to get started you will need your main color and your hook and your scissors and I guess yes yes your weaving needle you will need all those yarn over your finger once yarn over your finger twice hold it there we are forming a quick slip knot okay that kind of didn't work <laughs> but um, oh by the way I do have um, a link to how to make a slip knot in the description box down below as well so you can go and have a practice and come back to us so we're going to chain up six one two three four five and six remember we count the fourth chain from the hook so it's one two three and four we put in a double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook okay one two and three there you go now you turn your work like normal chain up six one two three four five six and guys it may pay for you to do part one and two before you continue with this okay so you count your four chains over and you pop your first double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook one and then you do a next one in the next one two and the next one in the next one three okay slip stitch to that first chain three that we made earlier or chain six it was really if you think about it chain up three one two and three and then you put your three double crochets in there and what we've done at the moment we have formed our very first part of the corner which I will show you in a minute there you have formed your corner all right like that so we're going to turn our work chain up six one two three four five and six okay fourth chain from the hook pop in your first double crochet whoops I nearly lost it then one and then you go two into that next chain one and then the third one in the last chain okay slip stitch into that middle set right there one two and three then you do your three double crochets one two and three okay slip stitch into that last one that we did okay one two and three oops don't lose a stitch like I just did okay three three double crochets in there one two and three now because you've done this growing of your um, pillow already once before the rest is easy you need to go away and you need to oh, I'm not telling you to go away <laughs> head off on your own I've done this is the second time I've done that head off on your own and we've done one two three rows one two three and remember how we count if we're, what we're up to we go one two three across then we know we've done it right you're going to turn chain up your six go across again get to the end turn chain up your six go across get to the end and so on until you have whoops <laughs> 10 cluster sets across when you get to your 10th cluster set meet me up and we'll start to um, add our color change get to your 10th and I'll meet you up okie dokie we are at the end of the row the 10th row uh, remember how I taught you how to count your rows it's 
Oh, let's get a nice close up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Do the same on that side. Then you count across this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we are all sorted. Okay, so now what I would like you to do is finish your last cluster set there. I haven't finished my last stitch and I'll do that now. You start your double crochet, stop it there, pop your loop in, th in front, grab your new thread. And we are using the lighter colour on the edges, on the smaller parts of your pillow is going to be the light first. In the middle of your pillow was the darker colours, but on the, on the top parts it's lighter. So you turn your work and you chain up three. One, two, three, I'm sorry, four, five, six, chain up six. Getting all confused now, aren't I? Okay, fourth chain from your hook, pop in your double crochet. You might want to count yours. Yours truly is just used to not counting. I do apologize there. I just hopped into my fourth chain, didn't I? Okay, uh, one more stitch there. You've done all this before, guys, so you, you really should be experienced now. <laughs> Very experienced. So we're going to slip stitch into that next space. Give all your threads a bit of a tug. And then just chain up three. One, two, three. And start again with your cluster set. It's very simple now, guys. And the best part about this tutorial here, number four or three, I don't even know what we're on now, three, <laughs> sorry, one, two, three, is that um, we are on a home stretch for the this side of the pillow, which is the best part, guys. So go ahead and continue in this manner all the way across until you get to the end of the row and I'll meet you up. Alrighty, here we are at the end of the row. We're going to slip stitch into, oh, so far away. Sorry, guys. Slip stitch into that last space. Chain up your three. One, two, three. Double crochet in there three times as you would normally. Two, three. Pop your thread there. Grab your new colour, which is the darker colour. Pull the loop through as you would normally and don't forget to cut your yarn like I've been forgetting in, in my tutorials, in my past tutorials. Okay. All right. Threads everywhere now. There are threads everywhere. Turn your work. And chain up three. I'm um, sorry, chain up six. Hello, Mary. Wake up. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, and six. Remember, we are putting a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and four. You can probably count yours better than I do. I just sort of look at it and know it's the fourth chain now. Okay. Double crochet in your next. Double crochet in your next. Just give all that a bit of a tug because it's a little bit loose. And slip stitch into your next space and chain up three. One, two, and three. And do your cluster set. I'm rushing this part because I think you know how to do this bit, guys. You have done it with the previous tutorial in uh, uh, parts one of the tutorial. So what I want you to do, one, two, three, go ahead. Whoops. Go ahead and continue this row all the way across. Do the turn. Continue it all the way across because you need to do two rows of this color. So go away and do two rows of this color. Meet me at the end of the second row. Alrighty, here we are at the end of this row. Now we need to re-add the lighter color and cut this color. So we're going to do our last double crochet in that row. Hold it there with your last two stitches on the hook. Grab your lighter colour, of course you've done this before so you know what you're doing, pull the loop through, <laughs> get the tail ends to move, turn your work around, chain up six, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, double crochet on your fourth chain from the hook, which is one, two, three, four, which is right there, if I can get that in. My apologies. A little bit tight. Two. Two. <laughs> get it right, Mary. <laughs> and three. Now this stitch here, very loose. Don't stress, we can tighten that up later. Right there. Okay. In fact, just give it a tug and that tightens it up there, right there. Slip stitch into your light, your dark colour. Chain up three, one, two, three, and do your cluster set. So you know how to do this part, don't you guys? Easy, easy, lemon squeezy, that kind of easy. Okay, slip stitch into your next. Chain up three, one, two, and three. Three double crochets. Two, three, and four all together. Pull up the loop so I can show you where we're at. You don't really need to see me do it anyway. So what we're going to do, what I would like for you to do firstly, <laughs> is cut this dark colour because it's really annoying me now. That is the last time you will see this dark colour ever. It's gone. <laughs> All right. Now this colour here, once you complete this row, that's the last time you will see this colour as well. So complete this row, get to the end of the row and meet me there. All right, here we are at the end of this row. I've done the very last, oh, sorry, it's too far away. I've done the very last stitch right there, double crochet. We are going to join our main color now. Yay, because then we get rid of this light color and we don't have to see it again until the end and no more color changing for the rest of this side of the pillow. Yay, pretty exciting. Turn your work, chain up your six which is one two three four five six before you go on give your light color a, a cut now we're going to put a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook again find your fourth chain which i already have step right there one another one in the next two and another one in that very next three okay then you slip stitch to this guy right here one two and three and you do three double crochets one two and three all right best bit guys this is what I want you to do you're gonna love 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 all right you are going to go ahead and do your normal grey all the way across, turn and then come back and so on and so on and so on until you have done six rows of your grey. And then we shall meet up and we are going to do the next step. Your next step will be popping loops and certain spaces in each step until we can make a certain amount for our buttons to go in. So you'll have like say four across and then a loop and then four across in a loop. I haven't really calculated it yet. I'll do that at the end of the row and then we can work it out from there. In the meantime, go ahead and do your rows that you need to do and I shall meet you up. All right, here we are at the end of our sixth row. Okay, and I have my five buttons here. Yay, very exciting. I love this part of the tutorial because we are trying to find out where we're gonna put our buttons Oh, actually our buttonholes and once we work that out um, all we have to do is stitch the sides together on top of the other side and well we'll talk about that later let's just get on to this now um, five buttons trying to work out where we're going to place our buttons okay you need to find a way to divide your buttons evenly across the row now I found with the, the sixth row if you followed my pattern with the sixth row that you have here it doesn't come across evenly no 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 it does at the moment so that that's okay so if you wanted to you could go it's actually 20 uh, cluster sets across you could go one two three one two three four right one two three four one two three 
one, one, two, three, four. I've got the camera in my way. Sorry, guys. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay. So the way that works is you only have four buttons across. And it doesn't work because once you get that next row over, you are jumping up another cluster set. So you've got one, two, three, four lands a bit earlier. So what you do to save yourself any fussing, put the button holes and the buttons where you want to put them. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to go ahead and do our button holes for the amount of button holes that I want to do. If you want to change where your button holes are going, then just do that buttonhole step where you want it. And I'll explain that in a minute. All right, we're going to chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the row is going to be different, but this cluster set will be the same. So you're going to put your double crochet in your fourth chain from the hook as you would normally do in every row. And there. And there. Whoops, having a bit of an off day today, guys. Sorry about if I'm a little bit slow. Okay, we are going to slip stitch into your next chain space. All right, now you chain up two, one, two, and you do a normal double crochet in that stitch right there. Do another normal double crochet in that stitch. Then you do a half double crochet in your next. Okay. Slip stitch into your next space. Now this is the one I want to do our first buttonhole on. So slip stitch in, chain up one and two. You're only going to do one double crochet in there. Then you're going to chain one. And that's where you're going to put your buttonhole. Okay. Now you do another double crochet. And your next stitch will be a half double crochet. It gives it kind of a rise and fall. So later when we do our next row and we do our slip stitching in there and so on and we do a little pico edge, you'll have room for your button and button hole. Slip stitch into your next space, chain one and two. Do a double crochet there and another double crochet and then you do a half double crochet. Remember how we do the halves? All the way through. Just pull it up there and I want to show you what you need to do now. Before you continue, you need to check to see that little buttonhole that we made, that your buttons fit that buttonhole. Now I've already checked mine off air, but I'll do it anyway to show you. <laughs> it's a bit fiddly, sorry guys. There you go. My buttons fit the buttonhole, okay? Now, if your buttons are too tight, you need to do two chains in the middle. If your buttons are smaller than this, don't do a chain at all. Just do your half double, no, sorry, your chains, your double, double, half double. Okay? You don't need to do a chain if your buttons are small. Okay? You don't want your buttons coming undone because your buttonholes are too big. All right? And in the future, I'll actually show you how to tighten those buttonholes up. Um, in another tutorial, it takes a little bit longer than this um, if you find your buttonholes are too tight, I mean are too loose, okay? So we've done one buttonhole right there. From now on, on every fourth cluster we have, I'm sorry, from every fourth cluster we do, we will be doing a buttonhole. So we did it on the third, one, two, and it was on the third here, but we're doing it on every fourth now. Or if you haven't followed my steps, the amount of rows that I've done, because I've done six rows up, if you haven't followed the same as me, measure where you're going to put your next button hole. Okay? Mine I'm going to put on the fourth one. Okay? But for now we've done one button hole there. That's the first cluster set. Now we're going to do the second one, which is normal slip stitch like normal. One, two, and then we're going to do a double crochet in there. One, another double crochet, two, and then a half double crochet okay slip stitch into your next so that's one two we're on our third one one two double crochet whoops 
another double crochet and then a half double crochet and then slip stitch into the next one now this is our fourth cluster set so there's our buttonhole one two three we're on our fourth one this is the one where we're going to do our next buttonhole so we slip stitch one two do a double crochet chain one another double crochet and a half double crochet okay now we slip stitch into the next one two do a double crochet another double crochet and a half double crochet so we're doing well aren't we guys slip stitch into the next one two double crochet another double crochet and a half double crochet okay so remember where we put our buttonhole we've done two cluster sets slip stitch into the third cluster set we're doing a normal set one two two double crochets and a half double and there's your half double now this is the fourth cluster set so there's your buttonhole one two three your next set is going to be a buttonhole slip stitch chain one and two one double crochet chain one and another double crochet and your half double crochet so it's pretty basic okay slip stitch you just have to remember not to do doubles <laughs> on the edges one two and then one double crochet another and a half double slip stitch into your next one two a double another double and a half double I think our next set is where's your buttonhole there it's one two oh and we've still got another cluster set to go slip stitch one and two a double another double half double slip stitch into your next so there's your buttonhole one two three we're going to do a buttonhole section now chain one and two do a double in your chain space chain one then another double in your chain space and a half double now if you've noticed before we go on I had five buttons somewhere <laughs> there they are <laughs> five buttons okay um, so if you didn't have five buttons then th then the buttonholes that I've done here they're not going to work for you okay so hopefully you had five buttons so we've done that one there and now we are going to continue we're nearly at the end of that row slip stitch into your next chain one and two normal double crochet there one normal double crochet in the next two and then a half double oops don't lose your stitch like i just did slip stitch into your next one two double and double and half double oh i hope i'm not going too fast for you guys i know i keep speeding along don't i <laughs> now we have i just forgotten where we were we haven't done there we've done our buttonhole there so we've got one two and three so one and two this is a normal cluster set one two and half double then we slip stitch into here the next stitch we go into that's going to be our last buttonhole slip stitch there 
one and two do a normal double crochet remember we're chaining one and another double crochet and then a half double crochet slip stitch into the next chain one and two double crochet one double crochet two and half double crochet let's just have a look see what our buttonhole was one two three and four yep that's good now with this end you may have only two here rather than three and you've got one two three you may only have two here but that's okay one two remember i said it wasn't going to be matching it's not going to be even and it's actually not even noticeable so don't stress too much you didn't notice it in the orange pillow and you're not going to notice it on your pillow okay that's that now this is where we are up to oh let's bring that out a bit you have yourself five buttonholes one two three four oh hang on not there sorry four nearly there five now if you wanted to now I did this with my pillow in between the four in between the three buttonholes you've got three there three there I'm sorry you got two there two there and the one in the middle between the one in the middle I put three spaces only but you didn't notice it and it kind of evened it up at the end but I actually prefer it to be normal all the way through and have it a little bit off at the end you won't be able to tell because you'll have that stitched so there you go if you wanted to you could have worked with only four buttons but I found with four buttons, they tend to open up a bit if they're too wide apart, okay? So I thought I'd leave it on the five buttons. Now, we haven't finished yet, guys. We're going to turn our work. We're going to do one last row for this piece. Now, this is a row that's going to give you the pico edge. You may find it a little difficult if you haven't done pico edges before. I will pop a couple of links in the description box down below with different pico edges. Go ahead and have a little practice and come back to us. Otherwise, stick around. I'll try and make it as easy as possible for you. Okay. So first thing we're going to do. Sorry, I should have done it before. We're going to chain one and then turn. Okay. All right. We're going to single crochet in there. First stitch. Single crochet in the second. Single crochet in the third. single crochet in your chain space once sorry single crochet twice then single crochet in your next double crochet there okay single crochet in the next single crochet in the next single crochet in your space one single crochet in your space twice now single crochet in the top of that stitch like we did before i'm not sure if i showed you close enough i'll show you again these are your three stitches you know how we usually jump into that we're not going to we're going to single crochet in the top of the stitch i'm hoping this is helping you one single crochet twice now this is your buttonhole we're going to single crochet into the buttonhole Okay, now we're going to do our pico. One, two, three chains. Yes, let me get a nice close up for you so you can see this part here. It's a little bit tricky. So you've got your three chains. Pop your hook in the side of that stitch there and in the side of the stitch right in front of it. Grab a loop, pull it through, and pull it through to the loop on your hook. And you've done your pico. Now you single crochet into that very next stitch there. So you do single crochet. Take your time, guys, with this. Okay. And then single crochet in the chain space once and twice. Oh, bring that out again. It's far too close now. Sorry, guys. Now single crochet in your next space. Uh, not space. Your next stitch. Single in the second stitch single in the third stitch and two singles in your space 
one, two. Might have been a little tricky. This may be tricky if you're a newcomer, guys. It's more for an intermediate, so I hope that you get it. Okay, single crochet in the next stitch once. Single crochet in your second stitch. If this is too much for you, you can actually not put the border on at all. Single crochet in your third stitch. And then two single crochets in that space. Okay. All right. Now, single crochet in your next stitch. And in your second stitch. And in your third stitch. And two single crochets in the space. One, two. I think this is our buttonhole. So single crochet in your first stitch once. Single crochet in your second stitch twice. Single crochet in the chain space like that. Okay, now we're going to do our pico edge again. Let me blow that up for you a bit so you can see. Chain one, two, and three. And there's that little side stitch right there and there. Pull the loop through like so. Pull it through the stitch on your hook and you've performed your pico. Single crochet, don't forget that stitch right there. And then single crochet twice in that chain space. Oh, let me blow that out. It's too big for you now. Sorry. So twice in there. All right. Let me show you what you've been doing so you can see. Okay. Looks good. Okay. Now, let me grab a button and pop it in that little hole right there. To make sure it goes through and it does and it'll sit like that okay and that's the pico edge that you saw on my pillow all right so i know that's a little bit tricky this stitch i'm going to show you one more and then i'm going to send you on your way oh it sounds terrible send you packing hey <laughs> send you on your own to finish off the rest all right oh that was too close i do apologize Okay, I'm forever apologising, aren't I, guys? <laughs> Single crochet in your very next stitch right there. One. And then in the second one. And then in the third one. Remember, there is a third one there. And then two single crochets in the chain space. One and two. Very tricky pillow we have here, haven't we, this edge? Single crochet in the first. Single crochet in your second single crochet in your third and a couple of single crochets in the space pretty easy this part yeah it's only when we need to do that picot edge and i think we are up to our buttonhole so you ready single crochet in your first and your second And your chain space. Oh, wait, it's not chain space. I do apologize. It's the next space. I'm sorry, guys. And in the next, and in your space, you put one and two. Okay. Now you do this as a buttonhole one. Get it right, Mary. Single crochet in your first. Single crochet in your second. And then single crochet in that space, a chain space. Then we do our pico. Do another close up. One, two, three. Pico in there and there, like so. And then you do your single crochet in that next stitch, right there. Single crochet twice in the chain space. One and two. And then you sicko, sicko. <laughs> then you single crochet. I'm really, I'm having a bad day, aren't I, guys? In your very next stitch, right there. And in the next. And in the next. And then two in your space. One and two. 
whoops don't lose a stitch I'm losing it because it's a bit tight pulling on my thread there anyway there we go all right so there we have it guys let me bring that over here so you can see okay there's your little pillow with your peacoat edge okay you continue on the rest of the row and meet me at the end of the row but in the meantime have a look at that isn't it gorgeous i know i love the little pico stitch on this pillow so continue the row and meet me up at that second last cluster set and i'll let you know what we have to do to finish okie dokie here we are at the end of the row well not really we've still got another cluster set to go i've done my second last cluster set i think no i haven't i've got a single crochet in those last that last space one and two now this is where we're up to we're not slip stitching in there and pulling it closed we're not we're going to single crochet like we've been doing in that very first stitch single crochet in the second single crochet in the third single crochet once and twice i found that this was a little weird on mine so i did an extra single crochet in that stitch there a third one okay and then i pulled a loop through and guess what guys Ta-da! <laughs> you have just completed the front part of this pillow yay well not exactly we have to attach it to this part as well oh upside down sorry about that and that's not going to happen until part four of our tutorial but thank you so much for watching this is part three now if you have struggled to do um our little pico stitches here if you struggled to do them don't stress too much i will pop the links in the description box down below for our um pico stitch and uh yeah you have actually completed part three yay <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys um in this week's vlog coming you will not only see how we are going to put this together and how it's going to look you will also see what is happening to the second side of the pillow yay <laughs> i've been working on a few things uh, this week and hopefully i have come up with a great second side to our pillow thank you so much for watching uh don't forget to click like and share and um, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't done so uh, and click the little bell button so that you can receive further tutorials in your inbox and all I want to say right now guys is ciao for now